here is asking, is it possible to be successful with Google Plus only? That's an interesting thing. It's possible. It's possible to be successful with any one channel only, and I would never do it just because, you know, you know, if you're the big brand that spent all that money making 10 million Facebook fans, and now it's not worth, well, it's worth something, but not what we expected it to be worth, not at all. Um, remember that we don't own Google. No, not at all, and Google is designed to take money from us and our clients. Like, basically, we're the ones who pay for Google, basically, and our clients. Right. So, uh, fundamentally, I need to find a way to map around Google Plus so that I never have to depend on it, and you can be radically successful just in that channel. And that's the same as it ever was in every channel, period. Amen. But I think when you're starting out, and you have limited resources... It's an amazing place to be. Yeah, in, the way I look at it, you really want to find the channel that's the best fit for your business and it's better to do one very well than to do a mediocre job at several. And you could use either Google, either Google AdWords or Facebook ads or Google Plus Organic or Twitter and have an amazing case study where you're radically successful. I guess if it were me, what I like is I like to quickly create systems where I can completely dominate by low-cost paid models to cycle graphics in each channel, understand how to drive traffic between them, organic and paid, and then find where it goes ka -ching. If I have to start somewhere in the universe for any SMB, then I want to make sure that I understand and can dominate pure shopping now, search AdWords, search PPC and no competitive intelligence for what my competitors did because I don't this is all bullshit if you're not answering the people who are shopping for it now and there's not always SEO and we need to un so that's first second it's B2B space you're in Facebook and you're doing occupation targeting for content through the feed or other high really focused business if it's B2C you might be in Facebook too I guess, if, I guess I would work with Facebook and Google if I had to work just on a desert island, but it would scare the crap out of me not to, not to dominate or at least understand why I can't afford pure shopping searches for my product. Like, I always want to prove whether that's profitable against a lifetime value, right? And then, I wanna, then the next thing I want to do is I want to use that data to advise my SEO and the funnel create content that surrounds that and now we're distributing to Google Plus and we're dominating our SEO. Like, I think that you learn your product from the search spectrum and then, then you um, expand it socially from that. I'm a search marketer by trade, Eric Engie. Yeah, there you go.